Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk a little bit more about the fake elector scheme and the information that we have recently uh, been able to see. I no longer have a problem calling it the fake elector scheme since they referred to them as fake electors in, in their emails. If you don't know, some emails have become public, and they are, uh, they are something else. There's a lot of commentary on it. We're going to go through some of it. The, uh, one of the key sentences that is in it, we would just be sending in fake electoral votes to Pence so that someone in Congress can make an objection when they start counting votes and start arguing that the fake votes should be counted. People are pointing to this and suggesting that the person who wrote it, that this is proof that they knew they were fake. The thing is, fake both times in this is in quotation marks. So is someone. I haven't seen many people address this. Um, I have a wild theory on why quotation marks were used. And it's it's kind of out there, so stick with me. It's because they're a quote. It's because they're quoting someone. A direct quote of what they were told. Now, I don't know who would speak that vaguely, that cryptically, to say, oh, someone in Congress. You know, maybe one of the Republican congressmen. Something like that. I don't know who talks like that, but I have a feeling if they were named in court, they would probably declare it fake news. Um, I don't think that that sentence is actually showing what a lot of people think it means. I actually think, I think it's a quote, and I think we'll find out who used those terms at some point in the future. One thing that these emails definitely show is that the White House was involved in, in the uh, in the elector scheme a lot, um, so that's no longer up for debate. That was something that the committee uh, demonstrated early on, and I think they did a really good do job demonstrating that that was the case. <laughs> These emails definitely uh, do a better job. Um, and then the other thing that the emails cast out on is the whole idea of a contingency. The main defense for the people involved in this is that, oh, no, 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 we just did this as a contingency. You, you heard it when, when things started uh, showing up in the press. They said it's just to preserve Trump's legal rights, you know, in, in case he got a court decision or a uh, legislature determined in his favor or something like that, right? Just a contingency. Well, that's weird <laughs> because the the emails suggest that at least some of the people involved wanted to keep it an absolute secret until the 6th so they could surprise the Dems and the media. It would be really hard to uh, to rely on a court case or a legislature making a determination um, and, and keep them secret because the court case and the legislature, that would be in public. We will see these emails again, I assure you. Um, they will probably be marked exhibit at some point. Uh, this is uh, bad news on top of more bad news for the former president. Uh, it was kind of made official yesterday that, yes, Trump is a target of a criminal investigation. Um, and... No uh, no surprise, Garland 
was once again asked about it, and he said that they would follow it wherever, and that anybody involved was going to be held accountable. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but these emails, they are pretty... Uh, I would be concerned about them if I was somebody that is named in them, wrote one, received one, anything like that. That they would be concerning to me. Um, so, is this a smoking gun? No, but when it comes to a a case like this with this many players. There's not going to be a single smoking gun. You're going to have a bunch of stuff that piles up. And, and that's really... Yeah, this is going in the pile. So, I would expect to hear more about this. Um, and, and I would definitely expect to uh, hear that sentence that I read quite a few times. And the... The meaning of those quotations, that's going to be important. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.